In this day and age, we all know that typing on your cell phone can be a bit cumbersome, but it can be even more difficult when you have low vision. But if you own an iPhone, VoiceOver gives you a few different options for typing on the built-in keyboard. What's up VIPs, welcome to my channel, and today we're doing another edition of VoiceOver 101. My good buddy Sam from The Blind Life and I do different videos talking about VoiceOver on the iPhone, on the iPad, maybe iPod Touch, depending on what you have, and give you some tips and tricks on how to use it a little bit more efficiently. Recently he did a video where he talked about editing text using the rotor. So I'm gonna link that video down below so you can check that one out, but it got me thinking about entering text with voiceover because there are three different, I don't know, modes, if you will, to entering text. By the way, if you're new to the channel, my name is Derek and I help people just like you to discover life after sight loss. On this channel, we do product reviews, life advice, encouragement, how-tos, and so much more. So I'd love for you to consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that little bell icon so that you don't miss another single video. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into the iPhone, not physically, cause that would hurt and you know, break your iPhone, but we're gonna jump into the iPhone and look at the three different modes to entering text into the iPhone using voiceover. So come on over and let's jump into the phone and see what this is all about. All right, so here we are with the phone. So we're just gonna hop on in. I'm gonna go to notes. There we go, I'm gonna go to notes. And I'm in a new note right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I'm in the text edit field. Text field is editing, okay. So now I'm gonna use the rotor and I'm gonna find where it says typing mode. So, typing mode. There are three different types of typing mode. You have touch typing, direct touch typing, and standard typing. So let's start with standard typing. That's the one that out of the box the voiceover set in. So that's where you go and you would find a key so there's capital B, and then you would double tap, and it would type that. Or you could also find one, hold it, and then use your other finger to type it. You could also use the same hand and type it with your index finger or ring finger or whatever. But that's the basic form. So if I wanted to delete, I'd find that and I'd double tap, double tap. So I, that's how I do it. Basically you find it, double tap or find it, and then single tap with another finger while you're still holding it. So that's standard typing. Now, then we have touch typing. And this is the one I use on a pretty regular basis. The main difference here is you still find the one you want, but when you raise off of the key, it's gonna type it like that. That works for delete. Delete. C. Delete. J. Delete. Package. And works for space. space. Now, it doesn't work for every key. For example, if you go down here, space. Dictate. dictate, it doesn't start dictating. But if you go over to more, it will take you to the next keyboard, or excuse me, the next part of the keyboard. More. But it doesn't do it for the next keyboard. You'd have to double tap on that. So some of the keys will not do it, but in touch typing, if you touch and then raise, that will type the key for you. And that's what I do almost always. Of course, I dictate a lot of things, but if I'm typing, I will use the uh, touch typing so that I can touch and then raise and it'll start typing it for me. Um, it's a great way to do it. It works on um, you know, number pads and most everything. If you have a keyboard of some, some type, it's going to be able to use it. Now, the third type of typing mode is Direct touch typing. This almost turns your keyboard into a regular keyboard. So you can just start typing without having to, you know, touch and then double tap or whatever. But if you do just touch and hold like normal, you can still find that key. But if you let go, it doesn't type it. And if you double tap, it might type it. But basically, the reason they have direct touch typing is so you can hold it like this. And if you're good, let's see, 
I'll show you how to delete that in just a second. So if I'm typing and I want to type like, you know, like that, I can do, now obviously I'm not good enough to do that, but you could type like that. Now I use touch typing all the time. By the way, if you have a phone that is a uh, 6S or higher, you can find the delete button and then 3D touch which is pushing a little harder and it'll delete everything for you. But that's the three types of typing modes. Standard, touch typing, and direct touch typing. Play around with them, see which one you like the best. I personally like the touch typing. It seems to work very well for me, but maybe you like the standard, maybe you like the direct. Try them all out and see which one you like the best for typing on the iPhone or the iPad. So there you go, my friends. Three different ways to enter text using the keyboard. We've got standard typing, touch typing, and direct touch typing. Maybe you like them all, maybe you like one better, doesn't really matter. Try them all out and see which one works the best for you. Hey, if you like today's video, if you found it helpful, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, share it with somebody that you know, and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss another single video. Thanks so much for watching wherever you are, and until next time, remember that sight loss isn't the end, it's just the beginning. My name is Derek Daniel from lifeaftersightloss.com, and I'll see you in the next one.